Hello my friends, this is Atich and welcome to my video. Okay, let's go open Excel. And then we are going to insert a shape. So we are going to insert an oval. We are going to make it bigger to see how it's changing the line because it's different from the color of the shape. We are going to change as well the name of this shape because remember that uh, BBA doesn't doesn't allow the, the the space, so we are setting a underscore. Then we go to the colors for my shape to define our instructions there because remember as well that in this case we are using RGB and we are going to set a, an easy color that is gray, basically gray, 217, 217, 217. We hit OK, and we go to the developer tab, Visual Basic. We create a module where we are going to, to define our subroutine. And the name of the subroutine will be line color change. You can define as you want. So for me, it's like that. Open and close parentheses. And we define oval underscore one that is our shape as a shape. The next step is to, to define our instruction. We are going to use an if to indicate that in this active sheet and if the shape and the line of, the, of this shape is uh, the RGB color that we already set, it's like that. So we are going to uh, change the color, okay? so. We write down active sheet shapes oval underscore one line for color RGB equal to RGB 217, 217, 217. If it's like that, then when we click on it, we are going to change to other color. So this will be the other instruction. So basically we are going to, to copy and paste the sentence before the equal, okay? Because we are going to change if the line of the color is gray, we are going to change it to a green, so BB green, okay? So we end the if, we come back to Excel, we assign the macro to the shape, and we test it. Okay, so now it's working. So we have to do the same uh, when the, the, the line of the, uh, of the shape is green, so we have to put it back to, to gray. So let's copy the, the sentence of this, but before that we are going to use an else if. That's mean else if the, the color of the shape is green, then turn it back to gray. So copy and paste. Okay, we come back to, to Excel, we test it and it's working. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.